must be your hero. What you gonna do? Put it in your life too. Now that's the meaning of the line. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to 245.11 Week in Review. I'm your host, Bruce Rosenberg. For the week of uh, March the, was it 6th or 5th? 11th. Today's the 11th. Um, this week had a lot of fun stuff going on. Um, things you wouldn't believe. And things that soap operas are made of. First, let's start off. Oh, we start off with March 3rd. Ah, going back farther than I thought. Um, oh, Saturday, last Saturday, March 3rd, we get home at 6. Wait, let me turn this lower because you probably can't hear me. Okay. Alright. Um, Mike gets home. We get home Saturday night. 2 o'clock in the morning. Phone rings. Who is it? Adrian? No. Stephanie? No. Some other friend of his? No. Who is it? You ask? Jody Polsky, name from the past. Yes, she calls me at 2 in the morning, talks to him for an hour and a half. Who knows what's up? This, right after uh, this little breakup, I guess, with Adrian, Mike's starting to think things. So who knows what's going to happen with that. She's transferring from Ohio State to Maryland in the fall, and she's coming home this week early from for spring break, so who knows what's going to happen. Um, on that same day, Dan had a party at his house. Now, as you know, last week he had been seeing Dina. Dina's gone. She's spring break this week, and he ends up, I guess he was drunk, that's what he says, he ends up hooking up, and he says, nothing happened, but you know something did. Uh, oh, we had a brotherhood party at our house, and me and Schwartzy got real fucked up, and Schwartzy playing Big Brother, Mr. Brother, whatever we call it, he started hazing the new initiates, telling them to do things and everything, and uh, I guess that's about it, he just thought he was the man. We were all drunk anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, Sunday. Ugh, Sunday. Mike's nightmares just begin. He hears from Teak, Steve uh, Goldstein, that he... Wait, Mike? Come here. Come here! Shit on your face? Well, come here. It can wait. Oh, phone. Hello? How you doing? Nothing. H hold on, I'm filming. Okay, I'm back. That was Craig Heller, special guest telephone call. Um, we'll talk to my Mike later about his little uh, episode. Um. Sunday night, okay, we'll move on to Schwartzy. He uh, had a little guest, I guess you say, her name's Elise, you all know her by now. I messaged her last week, and uh, in the middle, like, the early evening, Schwartzy comes walking out of his room, comes into my room. What does he ask for? Does he ask for a drink of water? Does he ask for a piece of gum, you know, or some scope or something? No. He asked for a condom. Yeah, I couldn't believe it either. I gave him one, and he claims in the morning he didn't use it. He didn't have to. He didn't do anything. But who knows? That's behind closed doors. I don't even know. We'll have to get the camera in there next time. Exact well, as you can see from the clip before this little show, who knows what was happening. Um, as of Sunday... 
the night before our data party, I still didn't have a date for our data party, and I was trying to set a record, which I ended up doing. All right, Monday, <coughs> um, Mike's story continues with Teak, and I'll let him finish that. Um, I finally got a date. Surprise, surprise. Her name was Lori Jung, nice girl. A friend of mine, we got real fucked up. Went to Barney's, had a little cocktail hour before. Um, yeah, with Barney and Debbie. Um, Steve went with Jill to the data party, not Elise. But he asked her, you know, a couple weeks before, so we knew that before the little Elise, Elise joined the picture here. Um, well, he went with Jill, because uh, that's the girl he had liked for a year. I and mean, he liked her way before he liked Elise. And so things got a little bit tricky there. Um, here it says uh, Steve is all fucked up with the women that day. Um, Elise called, and Steve told her, quote, you don't own me. Because I guess she wanted him to come over or do something, or or wasn't spending enough time with him or whatever. And she said that he, he said that he, she don't own him. And she got real pissed off. She says she hates him. And that, that night, that day's history, and she doesn't talk to him. For Mike, Mike, you want to come in here and tell your story yet? Come here, you loser. Come here. He says he's camera shy. He's a fucking loser. You want to tell your story? You, you sure you don't want me to mess it up? All right, Adrian had sex with... You want to come here? You sure? Huh? Mike, come here. Adrian had sex with I'm not going to... I want to hear this story. Come here. I want to hear this story. Come here. I got the fucking special guest seat right here. Come here. Will you just come here for a second? Here he is, folks. <laughs> Right here, you gotta sit here because the camera's set up. It's just, it's warm. I just made it. I just made it. He's being stubborn as you. It's so cold. Will you fucking sit down? We're, we're talking, we're talking teak trauma. We're talking Adrian. We're talking. We're talking a good week. Take a seat here. You gotta move around a little bit. Don't, don't pull the wire. Where's the thing. that thing? It's, it's fine. Are you sure we're in focus then? You might want to just lean down a little like this. Think we're focused focus then? Yeah, I can we're get focused. comfortable on this man. Yeah, you can come. All right, we're talking Teak Trump. All right, All right. My, Sunday night Teak calls. Who calls? Oh, Goldstein. Calls. Steve Goldstein calls. Okay. Oh, he's a scumbag. What happens? He said, and I quote, I forgot what he said. He said, uh, I'm getting a free trip, right? Yeah, he said he's getting a free trip. What did he do? He called up my company. Without me knowing, and said that he had 28 people going away to Acapulco, and they said, "Oh, sure, you're entitled to a free trip," not knowing that it was already my account. Oh, controversy! Controversy. He thought he was losing commission. I knew I was. Losing. Big time zits coming. Big time. We're talking like zits out the ass. And the next day, what happened? Next Monday. Day I called up. He called Valerie. I right? called Valerie, my boss, and she said, "Must have been a misunderstanding. Don't even worry about it." Okay. So we got it cleared up. Okay. All right. So it's cleared up. Everything's happened. Everything's cool. Yeah, everything's cool. What What exactly happened on Saturday, March third, at two in the morning, with this little call from this that's young nothing. lady? You forgot about last week with Adrian. Oh yeah. Well, that's that's there. Okay. All right. Well. The, did you have anything about the dates and the? the all right. Night well, that Monday. Spent, that Monday. You have anything Adrian about called. the night that I spent with her in there somewhere? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's last week. I already told that. Oh, you that. told that about last yeah. week? Eight, but this week, Monday, as like four days ago, um, Adrian called. Yeah. And it says here, it's the first time since, oh, since she had sex on Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it was the first oh, time she talked. Oh, but she uh, went away to New York for four days. What was she doing days? there? Probably fucking. What's his name? Vinny? No, no, she wasn't. She, her friend was supposedly pregnant. Is she gonna see this tape? No. All right, but she better not. Right, her friend was supposedly <coughs> pregnant, and she went up to see her friend because she was pregnant. And Adrian is such a great person that she cares about everybody, and she went north. Oh yeah, it says that she went to New York because she says her friend might be pregnant. I got that written down. I should have said, but he, it's better from him because it's his story. It's my story. Um, it's detail. 
Oh, it says that she gets her real feelings out in the open and tells... And, oh, you do. You get your feelings out in the open. I got my and feelings And you tell out her, I told her that you're always there for her? Yeah, I was she always there for her, never but there she's for... never there for me. Oh, I got that. He has that down. She's never there for me. She's, oh, that is true. He's always there for you, and... I mean, you're always there for her when, you know, things are going wrong with her. Oh, well, sure. And Uncle something dies, happens with... her aunt dies. Who's there? I'm there. He's there. Something happens to my mother, and she gets on the next plane to New York to see her pregnant friend. Who's exactly. Not, who's not pregnant or took one of them stupid pregnancy tests. Something's yeah. wrong here. Okay. Something is wrong. All right. Oh. And then Jody called. Yeah, and Dina came in that night. No, no, Dina? Oh, yeah, Dina. She Dan, got real pissed at you. Why? She's pissed at me because I'm fucking over her trips. But where is she now? So where is she now? What? Why were they pissed? Where is she now? She's in Cancun, but... Yes, okay. Enough said about They were about pissed Dina. because they're, they're enough leaving, said about leaving Dina. at four in the morning. Enough said about... Fuck Dina. She's a Jap. She don't know... Okay. Next day. Next. No, that night. Wasn't that night? No, the Jody next calls? day. The next night. Jody calls? Steve... No, you were pissed. Pissed at Adrian. Steve asks you... Quote. Remember this quote? Did you speak to Adrian tonight? And you responded. Oh, it was a good response. <laughs> um, Adrian who? Good call. Yeah, Adrian, Adrian who? who? We just lost it. <laughs> yeah, she's a con. Okay, that was the quote of the day there. Um, and Steve, as I told you earlier, his little dilemma with Elise. Um, she was pissed at him because of Jill or whatever. I don't know. Because Steve said that she doesn't own him, and now the next day everything's resolved. He calls her up. It's time for the news. Talks her. Mayor Barry. What we time gotta, is we it? We gotta cut the short. All right, well, real quick. All right, well, we're almost finished here with the week review. Okay, and now Elise likes him again. We're getting to the end of the week. Dina visits that night. She comes by for 45 minutes, but Dan has to leave because he's pledged Dan, <laughs> and he has to go. Man, Dan. And. Bitch. He leaves. He has to clean up or something. Pledge man. And she man, takes a taxi home. Taxi home. Dean takes a cab home to GW. GW. Oh. Oh, that was a momentous day for me. I failed my first exam <laughs> of my day. whole... Not only did he fail, he got the lowest mark in the class with a what? A 44%. A 44. That was me. Out of 100. Sorry, Dad. Um... <laughs> All right, next day, Wednesday, Mike goes out with Adrian. You know why? No, wait, what about Jody's phone call? Did you say anything about I that? I did, that was a late night phone call. Oh, yeah. Okay, what What was March Adrian's 7th? Adrian's birthday, March 7th. What's going to happen? What did happen? Oh, what a night. She, <laughs> what a night. I drop off balloons at her apartment before she comes home from work. Nice guy. Nice guy. Balloons, <laughs> two cards, two balloons, two cards, and a, a little animal I stole from, uh, Paperwork. The cops aren't going to get this out of No. Okay. Little animal. They wanted three bucks for it, but it fit right in my pocket, so I took it. Ooh. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> okay. It was cute. It had this big bushy hair, and it was, I don't know, it said the lucky All right, man. so what happened? What was anyway, the I dropped that off, thing of the evening? and then what? I went to Lyft, and I came back. Just After what that, happened that night? I gave her a cake, and the cake said, it was a cake that she wanted. It was buttercream, and it said, happy birthday, Adrian, and I gave it to her. But I never lit the candles because I didn't get a chance. <laughs> so, uh. Doesn't matter. We talked for like two hours after that, and she said, what's up? She doesn't want anything. She doesn't want us anymore, whatever. So I said, all right, what time do you want me to pick you up? So we went out for dinner. After she said she didn't want anything, of course she wanted dinner. She was so hungry. what was the basic... We went out to the Chinese. The, the... She drank a whole bottle of my champagne from start to finish. I had a little But sip. you got it for her birthday. <coughs> I got it for Valentine's Day. Oh, okay, that's right. <coughs> I mean, I didn't drink a Valentine's Day. She drank day. just about the whole bottle. The whole bottle except for a little sip. Trashed out of a gourd the whole night. She tells me she loves me, and she's making mistakes. She loves calls her me. mother in there. Love. The actual word, quote, love. Ooh. Um, Heavy words. She spilled champagne in my car. Then we went to the VU, and uh, after we left the VU, she went to her car or whatever. We went to my car, and she said in the car that she didn't want to go home with me that night, which was cool because she was trashed anyway. Then she said she did want to go home with me tonight. Then she asked me, quote, I can't say this on video. I fuck it. I'll say it anyway. <laughs> um, did you ever make it in a car? I said this one. She said no. Any car? I said I didn't answer the question. Then she said, "How about this one?" I said no. She wow. said, "Well, that's the answer I expected." And she says, "Do you it's want to make it good, in the car?" Isn't it? <laughs> and then she passes out. Okay. And then she passed out. I drove her back to College Park Towers, but I couldn't park in the parking lot because it was full. 
So I had to park in Kinko's. And I had to carry her from Kinko's all the way up three flights of stairs into College Park Tower. <laughs> carry her in. Pretty strong. Okay. Ugh, what a fucking... All right, so you got upstairs. Carry her in, get her in there. Take off all the clothes because she wanted to go to sleep. Completely stark sleep? naked. Yeah, she passed out. She oh, was okay. Out. She was unconscious as I was taking off her clothes. Okay. Sort of unconscious. She was semi-conscious. She okay. kind of helped me with a bra. Well, anyway... <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this. And she video. just passed out. She passed out. No, you, and, on the couch. But she wanted cold. to have sex with you or make love. Then she woke up and grabbed my dick and wouldn't let go. Ooh. Well, then uh, <laughs> she let go. I carried her over my shoulder, like fireman stuff, into her bed, dropped her in the bed, put on my sweatpants and sweatshirt onto her. And then I folded her up in her blanket, I kissed her goodnight, and I left her a note and went home. You went home. Very nice man. Nice guy. You're a nice guy. Her. came in her ear. Nice guy. I Ooh. left. <laughs> nice guy. Well, that was, that was the, like, highlight of that evening. That was um, I also ended up going to Five Six dated party with a girl named Heather. Who's I, about? Who, well, you wouldn't be able to see in the camera. She's, she's a nice girl. Um, she's kind of I got tall. set up. She's kind of It was a good time. Me and Heller got real fucked up. We Very just kept drink girl. and drinking. She was going to throw up on the bus. 4'11", so I'm a little girl. Giving her, girl. Giving her a few inches. She was 4'11". Yeah. In high heels. Next well, day. On phone books. Mike leaves for the weekend. Takes a little I trip home. Left Thursday, yeah. Yeah, okay. No, no highlights <laughs> on that day, really. Um, <coughs> next day. Marilyn versus Duke. Ugh. Go to the VU. It's they five bucks. They were weren't they? It was tied. It's five bucks to get in. Quarter pitchers want you in. Everyone's trash. You feel like you're at the game. Everyone's cheering like you're at the game. It's a good time, but we lost by 20. Score was 104 to 84. And we no, we're not going to the NCAA tournament now. It doesn't look like it. We're not going to bid anyway. Uh, what was, well, that, was, that was what? Thursday? Friday? Friday, yeah. That's Friday. Because last night, Saturday, there was a little Theta Chi 12 o'clock club. Which I went to, and it was, good. It was pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. A lot of dance. I Leslie Lori came by. It was I her birthday last Saturday. night. Well, it's today, the 11th. But do a little dancing. I got We're getting psyched to dance for Greek Week. And uh, to to finish it off, this week's quote. This week's quote from the movie Crimes and Misdemeanors. You'll like this quote. You see the movie? No, but I heard the, the quote from someone. The quote is. Ugh. I haven't been inside a woman since I visited the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> Which applies for a few people in this apartment. <laughs> I'm not naming any names. And um, he was the host this evening. <laughs> and this is that ends our weekend review for now. <laughs> if uh, Steve or Dan comes home tonight... What about tonight, Greg? Does he get into this weekend? Oh, before? Greg is still... A nutcase. Boring. He sits there and he flexes his titty muscles all the time, even though he doesn't Hasn't have any gotten titty muscles. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Greg. He sits there and he just goes, think, 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 think. Yeah, um, um Greg He drinks really... his coffee every morning. Every morning. Oh, wait, you know what else? What? Every, every morning he has to watch Bewitched. If he doesn't watch Bewitched, it puts him in it's the worst mood of the day. And then Sunday morning, you were, you didn't say anything what? about Sunday morning when he freaked out because wrestling wasn't on. Really? He flipped out. He punched a wall because wrestling was not on on Sunday. Oh, man. We had to watch Tarzan. It ruined his day. And... I'm Mike, and this is Bruce, this is my and we'll see guest you at the evening. movies. Um, this is our Week in Review. We'll see you next week. Oh, wait! Next week! We're skipping a week. Or I might film the Friday because guess where we're going. Uh, Look at us now. Come here, Mike. Take your shirt off. Show yourself how pale you are right now. A little paleness coming up. <laughs> Look, no tan lines. No, no tan lines. When you see us the next time... Wait. Okay. Next time we, we, we film here, we should have a tan. The thing's moving. Yeah. That, that's, that, oh, yeah, because it's focusing. We will be tan, hopefully. And hopefully not sun poisoned like the last time I went Daytona away. Daytona nightmare. Daytona, very, very bad. First so next day time out, you see us, baby we should oil. be tan. This is what we are now. Here's my tan line. Everybody. There is no tan line. You notice? <laughs> White as can be. Wait, here, here are the lights. Can you see? Can you block the light? Okay, till next week. We'll see you at the... Saying goodnight and farewell.